Welcome to the Tiny Artist. Today, we're going to be weaving. You're going to need a piece of cardboard, some string, right here, uh, something to cut with, scissors. You're going to need a, a marker or a pencil, and definitely something to measure with. We're going to be measuring today. That's very important. So, um, the first thing that we need to do is talk about vocabulary. That's important. I'm an art teacher and vocabulary is part of the, part of the gig. So, this is called your loom. Your loom is the uh, machine or piece of cardboard or, or board or wood that you put your actual warp string on. So I know this is really thin and hard to see, but there is some string here. This warp string goes up and down and then the, the weft, which is W-E-F-T, uh, are going to be strips of t-shirts, one inch wide, and they're gonna hang off my, my loom about two inches. So this is about seven or eight inches. So I wanted them to hang off two inches on each side, okay? So I um, needed to cut it a little bit bigger, so about 12 to 13 inches. And then um, you're going to measure with your ruler Stick it across your board. Have that upside down. I see that now. You're going to measure across your board. There we go. And every half inch, I want you to put a mark. And I want that mark to be about a half an inch to an inch long. And then once you put that, those lines or those marks, you're gonna then cut down into your cardboard to make these, what I call little teeth, if you can see that. So make these little teeth. And that's gonna actually catch your string. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your string and wrap it around the first tooth. So wrap it around this first tooth and then bring it down your board and back up the other side, wrap it around the tooth again Bring it down the board, back up the back, wrap it around the tooth, bring it down. Now you're going to have string going up and down both sides of this board. Okay, let me get finished with that and I'll come back to you. So now I have all of my string, uh, my warp string put on the front and the back of my board and I did have to wrap it around some teeth to get it to, to run correctly. So sometimes you have to do that and that's okay. Now, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, my strips of t-shirt fabric and I am going to weave them in and out, over, under, over, under uh, my string. And I will show you how to do that. Now, I have, a, I have arthritis in my hand, so I have a difficult time uh, grabbing the string. So I just use a little fork, and I just pick up the string, and push it under, grab it, push up, go over this one, under. Pick it up with my fork, over, under. And when you're doing this process, you have to make sure you don't accidentally go under, under, or over, over. You have to go over, under, over, under. So let me get that first one through here. As you can see, I have very stiff fingers, so I can't hang on to things very well, but doesn't mean I can't do it. Never give up, okay. So I'm gonna let it hang over about two inches on each side, two to three inches. I'm gonna pull it down, I'm gonna take my fork. This is what's really handy about using a fork, is I'm gonna now push all of that fabric right up to the very edge. And the only reason I'm going up to the edge is because I'm gonna make this into a, uh, a bag, because I'm gonna weave this side halfway up, and then I'm gonna weave this side three-fourths of the way up. And in that way, I can actually um, tie off ends and things like that and um, tie these ends together and tie the warp string together and pull it off down here and it'll look really cool and it will make a bag. Okay, so I'm gonna get started doing that. Oh, one other thing. 
even though it's under, over, under, over here, you wanna do the opposite when you go to the next uh, piece of fabric. So if I take another piece of fabric and if, if this black piece of fabric is under, I now wanna go over that string, okay? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start off the opposite way I started last time. So I'm gonna go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And that is what holds a weaving in, is that you have done the opposite type of weave over, under, over, under, and then under, over, under, over um, every other string or piece of fabric. Again, I will take my fork and I will just push all that down to the very edge. And um, if you want to see what it looks like, um, I actually took a a box here, a, a cereal box, and cut off the flaps and then made teeth on both sides. So uh, I'm trying an experiment here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. So here you can see that I put different colors and even different textures. That looks really nice whenever you actually add texture to your weaving. So I'm going to get done with that and then I'll start putting it together and show you how to do that. Okay, so that took me longer than I thought. It took me all day. So I've already woven the top halfway up and now in the back three-fourths the way up. The next step was to tie off the sides. I took the bottom uh, weft string or uh, fabric from the bottom, which is black here, and on the back, which is uh, like hunter green there, and I went to the side as you can see right there, I tied them together in a knot. And I tied them three times, okay? So the hunter green and the black, I tied those together three times there and three times there. Now, when you get to that third knot, you pull it really tight. You don't want these to come undone. And then I would go up to the next color. So it's gray here. What's the next color here? Red. And I found those on each side and I tied those in a knot three times, really tight. Now, you're gonna work your way up. Okay, keep, keep grabbing one from the front, and run from the back. Pay close attention that you're grabbing the next one on the front and the back, and don't skip one. Now, when you get past this point halfway on the front, you're gonna notice that you have more left here on the back, and that's my flap that's gonna go over the opening for my back. Now, you're just gonna tie those together. So find the next two, tie those together, both sides. Next two, tie those together both ends, okay? So that way, um, and three times again, pull the knots tight, but not so tight that you uh, you bend these strings in. So you, you wanna tie the knots tight, but you don't want the actual um, fabric itself to pull in, because then you're gonna, you're gonna warp your whole um, weaving. So anyway, I got that part done. Now the next part, after you do that, I'm gonna show you the next step. And we need to actually get this off the loom. So what I need to do now is cut these two strings. These are warp strings. I'm gonna cut them up here at the top. And I'm gonna tie them in a knot three times right here, okay? And then I'll go to the next two, and then the next two, next two, and all the way till I'm done, okay? And that will tie it off. And once you have those tied off really tight, you can then cut them a little shorter or leave them long, it depends on what you like. But make sure they're tight, because once you cut that string, you don't have any more to, to tie back. Now, if you have an odd number of strings, I have 14, so I have an even number, so it's gonna work out perfect, two, 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 all the way down. If you have three left instead of two, go ahead and tie those two off. Leave the strings long, grab one from where you just tied, Go ahead and cut that third string and tie it, okay? Um, that's just what you have to do. And then you can cut it off. So do that on the front. Notice you have less here. So that's why you gotta cut it at the very, very top so you have all this string to tie in a really tight knot. 
Again, tie it three times with those two strings, and then three times with those two strings, and so on, until this is off the loom at the top. Now it's still gonna be attached to the teeth at the bottom, and um, I'll show you in a second how we're actually going to pull that off the bottom very carefully. Okay, so now I have finished tying off my warp strings uh, in knots here and here. You can see they're just hanging off here. And I've also taken three strips of fabric and braided them together. I'm going to take and open up the braid at the very bottom. I've also tied it in a knot down here. I'm gonna open up uh, the bottom of the braid like that. And I'm going to push in the very top of this weft, it's called weft, W-E-F-T, weft string. And I'm going to tie that in a knot three times. Now, I'm not very fast, sorry about that. So maybe I'll just do two, just to go a little faster. But I should tie it three, okay? And I will take it and go to the other side to grab my top two strings. Put that through the bottom of my braid. I'm making a handle for my little bag or pouch and I'll tie that again a couple times should tie it three times and not really tight but just for the sake of time I will tie it twice so now I have a handle so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to gently start to push it down and pull it off of those teeth this might take a little while because what I don't want to do is pull it too hard and actually break my strings and then all those hours of work will have been in vain. I don't want to do that so I'm going to push it against my body. Maybe that will help and just keep pulling it off very, very gently. I can feel it slowly coming off those teeth. <laughs> push it against me a little bit more. I'm gonna have my son grab this here. Can you just grab that really quick, sweetheart? Just grab that and so I can pull it off. Thank you. That's my son, Christian. He's working on his college work. Christian is studying architecture at Ball State right now. And they've had to come home early. And behind me is my dog, Chewbacca. Chewy. That's Chewy. Okay, so here we go. I have my cute little pouch bag. I love it, it's adorable. So I'm just gonna put my hand down in it, okay? And there we go. It opens up. I have a little flap to close it. Um, I could sew a little snap on there or maybe a, a little tie or I could literally sew a button there and then just wrap that around it or anything I wanted. So here we go. Here's my, my little bag. I'd like to add a little experiment onto this project. Before you make your creative woven pouch, I'd like you to first make a list of every step of the process. Write down how long it takes you to make the loom, cut the teeth, put the warp string on, cut your strips, to weave into your project, how long it takes you to tie the ends off, how long it takes you to put the handle on and pull it off the loom. When you're done, I want you to add up all the time it took you to make your pouch and then be really proud of all the hard work you put in to your project. So until next time, always remember, have fun in the creative process and never give up. Take care, bye.